What's going on, Internet? It's Chris and Hip Hop Wire here. Once again, we're back with Games Rappers Play. This time, we're back with Detroit's own rapper producer extraordinaire, Black Milk. We'll be talking about his album, If There's a Hell Below. Walk with us. Stay entertained. You already know what it is. So I could go. I can drop anywhere. Yeah, man. You know, it, don't, it don't even matter. All right, so you know, just wanted to start. Talk about your album, If There's a Hell Below. Right, right. Um, I'm a young guy. My pops is an OG, so he listened to a lot of Curtis Mayfield. I recognize it immediately from the first song of Curtis. Right. Um, what's the correlation between the title of your album and that song title? You know, originally, of course, yeah, it comes from the Curtis Mayfield joint. So but I wanted to, like, play on words where the album kind of represents, you know, like, if there's a hell below, for some people, they feel like this is it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're already living in it. So a lot of the content from the album is, like, uh, just stuff that I've seen, you know, growing up in a certain Detroit kind of environment that I grew up in. So, so yeah, yeah, that's where the kind of the title kind of stands from. Pete rocks on the project. Yeah. So you know, that's any student of hip hop, anybody that's a long time follower of the culture, that's a dream to work with the legendary Pete Rock. Yeah. So just how did that collaboration come about? How were you able to really just finesse that in the studio with the Chocolate Boy Wonder? We've been going back and forth for like the last couple of years, just you know, sending each other beats, or just communicating like that and trying to vibe off one another and on some inspiration type of, you know, beat type of shit. But, uh, but yeah, man, I, that was one of the last records I recorded for the album. And um, he had actually like sent me a, a track. Yeah, he, he had texted me like just to beat him in the studio, playing some beat in the, in the studio and shit. And I was like, damn, man, it kind of hit me then. Like I should get, I should get Pete to spit on something. Instead of doing a beat for the album, I should get him to, to rap over one of my tracks. And, he was down with it, man. So it was like an honor to work with like one of my biggest inspirations and like beat influences, man. You know, with him and Premier and Dilla. You know what I'm saying? Pete is like that dude. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. He came, he came through and he did his thing, man. Like came out dope. And, um, the things now you said are a lot more conceptual than they were in the past, in the sense that they're like more of a storyboard form. Like, what's changed about you? And then not necessarily as an artist, but as a man, where you kind of feel like you can write from this space now. People ask me that now, man. I think it's more so just me, <clears throat> like getting older. You know what I'm saying? Like being able to, like take, uh, just take a step back and just kind of like look at everything I've been through all the way up to this point. Like I'm 31 now, so I've lived a little bit of life and experiencing things, whether it was just in the music industry or just, you know, just growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, from where I'm from. So at this point, I got so much stuff I could talk about, man. And 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 people relate to it. It's, it's dope to see like. People hear hear a certain record and be like, "Yo, I I, I know that story. Like I, I've been through that same thing. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to that shit. So, and that's one of the main reasons why I kind of been on this like uh, conceptual, more personal type of vibe with the with the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Because once you see people like really genuinely like relating to the music, that makes you want to just continue to do that stylistically. So, damn, man. I see you got me two ways, man. I see you got me two ways. Like you ain't, do do, you, ain't, you ain't talking me out of it. I see both of them joints. <laughs> Another thing I just wanted to discuss was recently, you know, you had Eminem commentary track, you know, Detroit vs. Everything, or Detroit vs. Everybody. Right, right. And, um, you know, all hometown MCs that select on the beat. Yeah. But just you being from there, how was that kind of to see that track come about, being from Detroit, like, to see the camaraderie on the track more or yeah. less? Yeah. I think it was dope for, for them and just dope for people from, that's not from Detroit to see that we kind of, we, we are like trying to build something. We are like, are about, you know, this Detroit scene, you know what I'm saying, and Detroit artists. So I think it was dope, man. And it's gonna be interesting to see where like Detroit goes in like the next, you know, two or three years and, and, and see what kind of uh, like direction we take artistically. Cause I feel like people know Detroit for a certain you know, a couple of different things. You know, you either know Detroit for like the Eminem, you know, D12 Royce type of style of music, or you know Detroit for like the Dilla, Slum Villages, you know what I'm saying, that type of music. So, but it's this new artist that's coming up, like the Dez Loves, and, and you know, Danny been doing this thing that's, that's kind of not the typical, you know, thing you expect from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? I think that shit is, is great. I think it's awesome, so yeah. You kind of see like a certain hunger coming out of there because of, because of like the, the, the current situation economically in the city. Like, do you see artists kind of like honing in on something where you see it becoming? Damn one. Yeah, that was you. That was you. Oh, that was me. Oh shit! Damn, I uh -huh. missed that. See, 
So, I, was, I was looking at you like right here. Yeah, like, yeah. I saw, I saw, <laughs> when you, yeah, I saw when you blocked me. I said, okay. Sweet. So, I'm, I'm sorry sure. I had to like kill you. I'm, what up, what up? It's Black Milk. Shouting out games, rappers, play, hiphopwire.com. Y'all know what it is, man. Go make sure y'all get the new album if there's a hell below. You know what I'm saying? All right. Peace. Smash the niggas on this Connect Four. Y'all know what it is. I took a loss. As a man, you know I could take a loss. <laughs> there will be no more L's taken. Just know that's a feature reference. But again, this is Games Rappers Play. Please tune in. Tune in to more of our visuals on hiphopwire.com and on YouTube.